All right, Shalom. <clears throat> shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out this word in truth sincerely. And uh, this is just going to be a quick in transit video. The Lord's willing to set a fine. And uh, just pretty much just land back in off of a video Apostle Rakak did about the end of the end. All right. And it, and it, and those words are very true in in the uh, so much more important in the in these in the days that we're living in. All right, because we've been talking about the end, you know. But now it's actually here. You know, the the the, so the beginning of sorrows have already begun. Okay, the microchip is already here. It just hasn't been made mandatory, which is the mark of the beast. All right, this is the transitioning that the Lord talked about. In Second Ezra chapter uh, six, it says Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed there, you know. After, so what you see, what we're witnessing, all right, what the world is witnessing, is a transition of power. All right, this is a man. The earth is going through an emancipation. All right, meaning a, 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 a transfer of, of ownership. All right, because pursuing the Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. So that means if somebody gave it, which that somebody is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And just like he he gave it, he gonna take it away. He, he giveth and he taketh, you know. And so the Lord's about to take back what is rightfully his. Alright. And that's what the Lord's coming back to do. He's coming back to subdue his enemies, bring a great slaughter, bring a great death and destruction. And bring salvation at the very same time. Alright, for his chosen within the nation of Israel. Alright, the elect. Ultimately all Israel will be saved, but the majority of our people have to die and they'll know it by death by pain. Alright. They're gonna be right after dying. Okay, and then you got uh, <clears throat> all kind of signs as the Lord talked about that would be taking place in these last days before his return all right just to name a few the earthquakes google it look what's going on around the world it's, it's just because it's not on your on your local news or your cnn or your fox news all that mainstream media all right doesn't mean it's not taking place of course esau is not going to be showing you the signs of the lord's return he's not even going to mention them because he don't want you to know all right, you got uproars of the people. He, at least he shows you that. All right, all the protests turning into riots and the sedition. You got that globally. You got that taking place everywhere. It's not just here in America. All right, it's not just uh, in, in, in France with the yellow vest protest. It's everywhere. All right, those are uproars of the people. That's what the Lord said would be taking place. All right, or, or uh, signs when you're going to know he began to he has begun to visit the earth which he made so all these things are taking place why is because the Lord is on his way back I look at Matthew 24 says you're going to hear wars rumors of wars okay but these things these is the end is not yet all right he's the beginning of sorrows because these things must come to pass so World War three is still going to happen all right there's going to be civil unrest to the point of civil war in America okay and at the same time they're going to be fighting World War 3 and, and then ultimately the Lord's going to return and, they're, and then they're going to have to fight him when he returns All right, Esau and all the other nations they're going to have to fight the Lord alright that's going to be the end all be all when the Lord returns cracks the skies and there's nuclear weapons flying through the air alright that is the end of this society this is that is the end of this world as you know it okay and we're and we're at the we're, we're at the end of the end man all right we're not at the beginning of the end anymore we've, we've already moved past that threshold all right now it's time for the lord to really make some uh, great works all right he's gonna show some great works on this earth just like he did in ancient egypt all right the plagues all right well guess what the, the Lord is, is, is going to send those plagues again. All right, this time they're going to be much more 
all right, horrendous, all right, much more magnifying for his name, okay, it's going to be things that you've never even thought possible, all right, because of course we're entering it, we have entered into the time and it's building up, it's going to get a lot worse, the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, it's going to get a lot worse though, you're going to know what time you went in real soon when this when this shit is everywhere all right when the chaos is through the streets everywhere you go everywhere you look you're gonna know that you're in the time of jacob's trouble all right right now it's just a, 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 a taste of it all uh, with all these shutdowns and the, and the, and the troops and the up uh, uh the riots this is nothing compared to what the lord has got coming all right upon this earth and it's for you two-thirds all right all this death, bloodshed, all right? Oh, that's gonna be for the two-third, the wicked. And guess what, two-thirds are wicked right now, so they're gonna get the punishment right along with Esau, Edom, which is the wicked, all right? So that's what the Lord has got brewing up for, for these last days, and it's happening, okay? In your face, everywhere you go, you see prophecy every single day taking place all right and only the watchmen are are the ones paying attention some people don't even know some people don't even know what the hell's going on in the world man they just think they just can't wait that things go back to normal so they can go have a sunday fun day in the sun you know sip some lemonade in the shade not knowing that the things ain't gonna get better that things ain't going back to normal it's only downhill from here on out for you for you for the rest of this world but for the elect the only way is up and that's a, that's that's why the, the scriptures say lift up thy head for that redemption draw nine because li we're literally going up all right lord's will be part of the number we're literally going to go into a spaceship what people ignorantly call ufos all right the chariots of the lord that's the way we getting out of here so why you, those missiles are coming down to destroy you people all right the elect will be uh, uh saved out of this place man wherever they be scattered at all right, mainly here in America, though, this is the place of great judgment, and it's going to be a place of, of, of great salvation as well. All right, uh, pursuing the, uh, Jeremiah 16, all right, verse 14 and 15, it specifically mentions the land of the north, which is America out here in America, North America. All right, and then it, it mentions all the other places. Well, it doesn't mention every single place, but it, said, it mentions where, the, where they're scattered abroad, you know, where they're scattered through. And so our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And that's why Yahweh Shai is going to come redeem them from the four corners of the earth. All right. And again, this is we know this is going to happen soon because of the signs that the Lord has gave us to understand, you know, measure the times and know where we at. All right. We're not into the we're not, you know, like they used to say, oh, they've been saying that for years. Well, no, it hasn't been happening for like for for, for, for like this ever. All right, these are unprecedented times. These are times like you haven't ever seen. And again, it's only going to get worse. You're going to see things that you wish that you would never saw, okay? Things straight out of a horror movie, okay? And we told you so, man. We've been telling you. We warned you people. We told you this was going to happen. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to take heed to the, to the men of the Lord. Well, guess what? Now... As Ezekiel 33 and 33 says, Lo, when it comes to pass, and it will, then shall they know that a prophet was among them. And, and you can't tell me that you ain't been warned about all these things that is taking place on the earth. So guess what? You've been warned. You have no excuse. You have no cloak for your sins. Because you refuse to come back unto the Lord and, 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 and humble yourself and, and serve Him. Well, guess what? Now you're just going to have to die. That's, that's, that's the remedy. All right? That's the solution for you. For you damn hard-headed Israelites, man, you just gotta die now, you know. And it's and it's you can't blame nobody but yourself because the, again, the prophets were here to tell you, all right. That every time the Lord is about to destroy a kingdom, he, he gives you fair warning, all right. Now, if you take a, if you take heed to that or not, that's that's between you and the Most High. But one thing for sure is you've been warned, and now you have no uh, you, reasonable excuse that the Lord's gonna accept man all right and again th this is the end of the end so hey call like your hot bashi mashai shalom lord's one that's edifying and exhorting all right to the to the to the sincere brothers out there and, and the men women and children that are are 
are seeking after the Lord and, and learning. All right, to y'all, say Shalom. And my walk, love a ball. All right. Abad, Babal, Shalom.